hey guys so i am back with another video and today i'm going to be doing this makeup look i know you guys have been waiting for me to do a hair tutorial but i will be back into doing hair tutorials very soon it's just that i'm going through i'm like pretty much protective styling in the winter as usual so i don't post as many hair videos as i do in the spring and the summer so don't worry those are coming i do have some that were like pre-recorded before this winter season started so i will have one out soon if i haven't already posted that one um but i did um I am going to be posting a few more, hopefully maybe some hairstyles, um, going over my new hair care regimen and things like that. I will get into um, one of those videos as well. Um, but I wanted to come through and do this makeup look because I was really vibing with the new palette from Juvia's Place. Um, it is the Tri Palette. I know you guys have seen this all over Instagram twitter whatever i know you guys have seen it um so i did use mostly shades from this palette i tried to use as many colors as i can as i could the only ones that i didn't use was these three right here so this lime green this one and this one i didn't use these um and then i used i actually could have used ashanti but i don't know i didn't notice it until just now <laughs> oops um and then i use like a few shades from the warrior 2 palette which is pretty much an all matte palette um i actually like this palette to kind of um complement some of the other palettes um because i can use a lot of these for transition and crease shades and things like that blushes um so i really like this palette so i use a couple shades out of here um i think only two yeah, I only use two shades out of here, but I will tell you which ones throughout the video. Um, and that's pretty much all that I used for the eye look. I used these two palettes. I used um, a couple of the new Tribe highlighters um, as well. And uh, this look is mostly Juvia's Place. Um, but I will list everything that I used throughout the video. Um, if you guys want to see how I got this easy, it's kind of easy. It's pretty, it was easy to me. Um, you know, but... I mean, you know, easy to me can mean not easy to someone else. It was pretty easy to me. I do a lot of easy looks here on my channel um, or like beginner friendly type of looks. And I feel like this is one or this is one like intermediate, I guess. Um, but yeah, but if you guys want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Before you continue watching, please make sure you thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. That way I can post more videos. Also post many more videos that you guys want to see um, as well. So leave down in the comment section of the videos that you guys want to see here on my channel. Anything beauty or hair related. Um, I'm really into makeup right now. Um, not even really into makeup like now, but usually like during the winter months, if you've been following me for a long time, I do a lot more um, makeup tutorials than I do hair tutorials. And that's simply only because a protective style during the winter and I don't really do any intricate styles and things like that. Especially, I just don't have time to do that kind of stuff anymore personally. Um, but I know I posted a, to uh, a toll. A poll on the community page and ask you know what types of videos you guys want to see and a lot of you guys said hair tutorials and I hear you I hear you I knew most of you were gonna say that but I just haven't really been doing my hair like this this slick thing I've been swatching this out for like a bun or like my drawstring ponytail I've been wearing this for like two weeks now um, and the week before that I had my hair in like breeds so I haven't really been doing my hair that much but I will have an updated hair care routine coming up soon I don't know when I'm gonna do that I'm gonna probably get that out before the spring hits because I'm sure in spring that's when like everything's gonna shift again and I'm gonna be doing mad hair tutorials and less makeup tutorials so definitely subscribe to my channel um, and just keep a lookout turn those notifications on so you can know anytime that I upload um, and yeah so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys next time bye I'm gonna start with the LA girl pro concealer in fawn and I'm just gonna apply that to my eyelids as a base and just to conceal any discoloration and then I'm gonna also set that with the beauty bakery flower setting powder in yellow the first shade that I'm gonna use from the tried palette is called Masai it's kind of like a bright green 
Um, I didn't really pack this on. I didn't want it to be lime green, lime green, but I did want kind of a green in that transition. And then next I go in with the shade under that called Aromo, I believe is how you say it. And I just apply that right underneath it and just blend those together. Next I'm gonna go into my Warrior 2 palette and I'm gonna use the shade Zama. I love the shade as a transition crease color. So I'm just gonna blend that into um, that lime green and then I'm gonna use the shade Yoded from that same Warrior 2 palette and I'm gonna apply that under my brow bone because I do not plan on applying a brow highlight. Next I'm gonna go in with this shade called Sand to deepen the crease and I'm kind of almost bringing it halfway, almost three-fourths of the way in and I'm using like a very tight pencil kind of blending brush. I believe this is one of the ones that James Charles created with Morphe. Um, I'm using like a small blending brush. And then I cut my crease. I didn't really need to do this part, but I did it anyway, but I, you don't have to do this. I kind of almost wish I didn't do it, but <clears throat> I'm gonna go in back into my Tri Palette and I'm gonna use the shade I don't remember the name of that one. I think it's Kuba. Yeah, I think it's Kuba. I'm gonna apply that to my lid. And I just wanna mention, I should have used a larger brush, but I didn't. And then I'm just gonna go in with a smaller brush just to get right up to that line that I created. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Chaga, I believe is how you say it, and I'm just gonna apply that to the inner tear, like the inner portion of my eye, and I'm just gonna kind of sweep it into that green, um, just to kind of make it look a little gradient. Um, and I'm like sweeping it, I'm not like pressing it, I'm like literally sweeping it into the green so that it's blended. And I did spray a little bit of like Fix Plus on it as well. And I'm just building that up until I get the desired effect that I want. And then I'm gonna go in with that deep green shade again. It's called Sand. And I'm just going to redefine that out of the area. And then I'm gonna go in with the clean brush and kind of blend above that. Okay, now I'm gonna start working on my face. I applied my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer, and then I went in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect uh, Foundation. I used the shades Spiced, Almond, and Chestnut. I could get away with using either or by themselves. It just kinda depends on what setting powder that I'm gonna use, um, but together they look okay. Um, next, I went in with the NYX HD Concealer in Nutmeg and I believe Golden Tan. Um, I, I, like I said it before in my last video, I need to find a good highlight shade in this um, concealer. Um, but I went in with the shade Espresso, just the contour, the HD Concealer as well from NYX. I didn't want a bright highlight for this. I actually didn't really want a highlight at all underneath my eyes for this, so that's why I ended up using these two shades but um, I would like to find the actual you know, concealer that I would like for this. And I just blend that out with my Beauty Blender. And then I'm just gonna go in and kind of like, you know, cut my contour a little bit using that um, banana powder, that yellow powder from Beauty Bakery. And I'm just gonna set my highlights with that same powder. I think I told you in my previous video, this is how I like to use the Beauty Bakery powder with uh, a brush, not a sponge. So I'm just gonna blend all that excess powder away. Next, I'm gonna go in and set my entire face with the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder in the brown shade. Anyway, next I'm gonna go in with the Black Radiance Contour Palette in dark, and I'm just going to set my contour um, and just redefine that a little bit more. And then I'm just 
just going to line my waterline and I'm going to go underneath my eye with that shade sand after I apply some more of that Urban Decay Primer Potion um, underneath as well. I also went in with another shade from the palette called Tootsie and I just applied that right underneath that brown. And then I went in with Curla and apply that to the inner bottom portion. And then for the inner tear duct, I use the Juvia's Place Tri Palette Highlighter in Volume 3. And then I'm going to go on with this blush. This is Tao. I believe this is in the Volume 2 Saharan Blush Palette from Juvia's Place. Um, but it's the shade Tao. Love this shade. Um, and then I'm just going to go back into that Black Radiance Contour Palette and just to... Um, define my nose a little bit. Next, I'm going to use that same highlighter, the Volume 3, just to highlight the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose. I always like doing this. I do kind of like a little explanation point kind of thing. And then for this highlight, I'm going to use the Volume 2 of the Tri Palette. I'm just going to use that to highlight my cheeks and on my temples as well. This highlight is super pretty. I posted a picture of this on Instagram and I just I, I loved how this highlight looked. So if you guys want to see that picture, make sure you go check out my Instagram. It really like highlights how bomb these highlights are. And then for my lips, I use my NYX liner in espresso and I use the ColourPop liquid lipstick in softy um, down um, on my lips. And I really like this shade as well. I might like it better than Tool, guys. And that is it for the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I'm really loving doing the makeup tutorials right now and just perfecting my craft. So I really hope you guys enjoy it as well. Make sure you guys are subscribed and turn your notifications on so you do not miss an upload. All the products that I use throughout the video will be down in the description box. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.